So I went uh, undercover in an industrialized slaughterhouse because I was interested in understanding how massive processes of violence work in what we call modern civilized society. Slaughterhouses, for the most part, are located far out of urban areas. They're located in rural areas where the vast majority of urban consumers will never have to confront what takes place inside of them. They're also hidden socially. We delegate the work of killing to a group of people who have very little rights. We also hide them uh, linguistically, right? Steers become steaks and heifers become hamburgers. We hide places of violence, we hide places of, of ugliness uh, so that we can continue to live as if they didn't exist while still relying on their products in our everyday lives. Two months into my field work, uh, six cattle escaped from a slaughterhouse up the street from the one that I was working in. Three of them made an immediate run for the parking lot of St. Francis of Assisi Catholic Church. These cows were captured and taken back to the slaughterhouse. But one of the cows made a run down the main boulevard in Omaha and then took a turn into an alleyway. This escape took place during the afternoon break for the slaughterhouse that I was working in. And me and some of the other slaughterhouse workers watched as the Omaha Police Department pursued this cow uh, into an alleyway that ended in a chain link fence bordering um, our slaughterhouse. And when the police failed to herd her into a trailer, they opened fire on her with shotguns and killed her. And the next day, uh, the newspaper in Omaha featured this escape and killing on its front page uh, under the headline, Freedom is Fleeting for Cattle and Plant Escape. And in the lunchroom at the slaughterhouse, the workers expressed a sense of disgust and outrage at the killing of this one animal. They shot her just like they shot an unarmed man from Mexico last year. Uh, Julia, one of the quality control workers, said. And then uh, the lunch period ended and we all went back to our places on the kill floor where we proceeded to kill another uh, 1,250 animals for the remainder of the day. Social media has radically changed the distribution of information. Images and videos highlighting the plight of farmed animals are now reaching a global audience that is increasingly seeking transparency and knowledge surrounding the sourcing of their food. A video by Toronto PicSafe activist Anita Krines made headlines worldwide when she was charged for giving water to thirsty pigs on a hot day outside a Toronto slaughterhouse. 